This is an Azimut 85, it's a 2009 and it's very typically Italian of that era with a beautiful sweeping styling all the way back. It's a great looking boat and it's a great interior on this one actually. And in fact, when you get on board of this, it's hard to remember that it is 85 feet because it feels huge. It's really good accommodation. So we're gonna take the full tour on this one and I'm gonna demonstrate that to you. I'm also gonna show you crew areas, engine spaces, deck areas, flybridge, the lot and we're starting right back here with this cockpit area big overhang for plenty of shade lovely seating area around the back looking out across the water absolutely fantastic we've got access up to the flybridge just there we've got side decks we're going to do all of that but first of all i want to show you this interior because this is pretty special check this out look at that now a lot of azimuts of this era have the very shiny gloss wood which I must confess I quite like, but it is a bit dated now and I will grant you that. But this doesn't, this has the matte finish, the dark matte, and this is what's become really popular now. So actually, this is pretty contemporary, especially with all the light upholstery in it, which just sort of offsets the color a little bit. I think that looks great, it looks really nice, very casual vibe to it. Nice big sofas. That's lovely. We've got a dining table up here. And again, you've got that sort of casualty, the fact that it's offset. It's not just straight across or straight down that way. It's just <laughs> sort of nice and casually placed there. And it's right next to the galley. The galley is in the center of the boat on this one or center of the main deck. So if we go up through here, we have got a day heads on the main deck. And then we've got the galley here, which looks like it's flickering. Um, but isn't in real life. That's just um, the GoPro messing around a little bit with the LEDs. But yeah, check this out. It's a decent size, isn't it? A lot of stainless steel going on in here. Big, serious cooking, big, serious sinks. This is a, a place of cooking business, isn't it? We've got refrigeration there. We've got access straight out onto the side decks as well from here. A lot of storage about the place. That is a nice area. And I think I'm right in saying that you can close this off because it looks like these are lift sections here almost certainly they are so if you want to have this as a crude boat and have this as a separate zone you can do if you're an owner operator you want a bit of chat to people or whatever else or you know even if you've got a crew and you just want to keep it open then of course you can do let's come out of here you'll notice there's an entrance down here this is pretty cool but we're going to head forward first of all past the wine cooler another side access door and then there's another great social zone up here so it's a little informal area, great place to have a coffee in the morning, sit and chill out. Just another nice zone on the boat. And the helm position's up here as well. So we've got the helm seat, of course, the wheel. We've got the multifunction displays. Bow and stern thruster on this one, very helpful. Superb. Let's head forward. Now this is your guest accommodation down here. So the other stairway we saw was for the owner's cabin, but this is all guest areas. So we go forward first of all, we'll find the VIP cabin. Vastly. Again, we're getting that flickering. It's a little bit annoying. <laughs> what much I can do about that. Um, but I say that is not visible in real life. If we come over here, you can see just how much space there is. There's a lovely big footprint to this one. We've got uh, wardrobes dotted around in places like this drawers underneath nice little dressing area another storage area just there and of course it's got an ensuite so if we go over here that is in there and we've got the shower in there as well of course cool let's pull back a little bit over here take that in is that flicking gonna stop no it's not <laughs> okay let's press on Two more cabins back here. These are all really good sized cabins. We've got a uh, double berth over in this one. There we go. And again with the wardrobe and the drawers underneath. And again, of course, with the ensuite. And there's a shower in there. We've got a light for it. <laughs> and the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Let's turn it back off. And if we cut across to the other side, we'll find a similar thing, except for the fact that this one has got twin beds in it. There you go. 
the AV equipment, the wardrobes, and a similar deal in here. It's cosy, isn't it? And the shower is in again through there. So that is that. Let's loop on around because I want to show you that separate owner's area. We're going to come back through the saloon. That does look good, doesn't it? And then this is the stairway that drops us down. To the owner's domain. So this is a completely separate entrance to a completely separate cabin. And check that out. That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Very nice. Love the lighting in the ceiling. Again, with a big footprint, a lot of floor space in here. Wardrobes are here, storage is here, ensuite is here. There we go. And we've got the loo in behind here, and we've got the shower in here. Fantastic. Okay, let's back up. And let's head on round because I saw another doorway, which I suspect is a walk in closet and it would seem I'm right. There we go. That's where all your clothes and bits and pieces. Superb. Okay, that's that one. Let's just pause there for a moment. Take that one in and then we'll press on a bit further. So we've got um, deck areas to look at, we've got flybridge to look at, we've got engines to look at. But you see what I mean? That feels such a big boat, doesn't it? I'd say that feels bigger than 85 feet. Obviously it isn't, but it does have that sense to it. Okay, back out of here. Back into the Florida sunshine. We're down in Miami at the moment. And we will head across and round. Love these big overhangs. Right, this side first of all. We'll come across the door that we saw on the inside. That's here. Big boat to walk around, isn't it? And then up here on the bow, we've got a really nice seating area, sunbathing. These are speakers here. <laughs> Give you a blasting, wouldn't it? Um, anchor handling kit, of course. And we come right up to the very front. And that's how she looks from here. We'll continue looping on round. Check out the Miami skyline. Pretty cool. That's the door that's next to the galley. That noise is an aeroplane buzzing around above us. Can't do much about that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Not quiet, I'll tell you that much. Wow. And if we come around here, this will take us up to a similarly large flybridge. Look at that. We've got the hardtop on this one with a big opening section within it. And if we come right up here, bar area is here. We've got dining over here. Pretty sure I'm right in saying you can put a centerpiece into there to make that into a great big table if you prefer. Um, some bathing, obviously. And then the upper helm position is being protected at the minute by these screens just here. And then that is where we just walk around the front. Very nice. Again with the big speakers. And you'll notice there's a crane up here because that wasn't a high-low bathing platform that we walked on when we came on the boat, which is what's popular these days. What this has is dinghy storage back here. In fact, it looks like there's a place for a couple of jet skis. So you could obviously use that however you wish. There's a big crane there, so you can pick up and put on there whatever suits you. So that is that. Uh, on top of that is the usual kind of uh, satellite domes, radar, nav lights, all that kind of stuff up on the top, searchlights and so forth. We're going to come on around. It's a busy boat, this one. So we're going to keep moving because we have it to ourselves at the minute. So <laughs> we'll take full advantage of that. We'll head back down this way, back onto the, the bathing platform. And then this will take us into the crew area. Now this boat 
doesn't run with an onboard crew, as it were. There's nobody staying on board of it. So the crew cabin is being used for storage, which is why when we open this one, we'll find it full of stuff. But you've got uh, two beds in there. You've got a hanging locker in there as well. There is a toilet down here. Like so, shower is in there as well. It's like a wet room. And then that one is just storage, masses of storage. And there. And if you come around here, there's a stairway that takes you back up to the side deck so you don't have to come down to the bathing platform to get into this area. And then there's another crew cabin here. This is what I mean, it's all used for storage at the minute. But you have got the two berths in there as well. And the last thing to look at is the engines. A pair of big cats in here. Oh, I should just point out laundry facilities are down here as well. That's where those live. But yeah, big Caterpillar diesels in here. C32A certs, they are the real deal. You find these in a lot of really big boats. They're 1,800 horsepower each. They're giving the boat up toward 30 knots. It's high 20s, so, you know, about 28. Cruising at about 24. And a range of about 350 miles at that sort of speed. Obviously, as ever, if you drop this off the plane and cruise at displacement speeds, you will probably triple that. Take it up past 1,000 miles. But, yeah, it just depends how you want to use the boat. Generators live down here as well, of course. There's one here, there's one on the other side. We've got the electrical panels across the forward bulkhead. And the other generator lives over there. Cool, huh? Right, let's head on back out of here. Back through the crew area, back onto the aft deck. You can put, I think I'm right in saying, a tender on here because it looks like it's got the points for the chocks, but you lift it on and off of that crane rather than lowering the platform. I think that's how that works. You need to check, but I'm pretty certain. And that, as they say, is about the size of that. That is that 85 foot azimuth. Massive thanks to Dennis and Yachting. They organised this talk. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one. And we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.